standard jazz bass. I got this not too long ago. I've been promising to review it and here it is. I actually had, as you probably saw, an American standard a jazz bass that was in May, that was in I'm sorry, Rosewood. I kind of traded that in and added a little more to get the maple neck version. Because as you probably know following my videos, I love maple necks real snappy and bright and as you can see this is an authentic fender beautiful this is the 2013 edition the 2013 edition has these this kind of you know same old headstocks with these kind of you can see a little closer a little different type of twin machine there pretty nice and um this is standard bridge. This bridge hasn't been around too long, but uh, yeah. The two very, very nice sounding. I love these pickups. These are called the classic 60s pickups. You know, that old style. The new jazz bass sound, and when you add the funk. Nice, bright, snappy sound, very English sound. Um, I got the, the uh, tuners all the way up. And um, both pickups uh, and tone all the way up. Pickup, pickup, tone, regular jazz bass uh, configuration on the equalization. And 100% uh, passive and uh, sounding beautiful. I would. Uh, you know, I love those preamps. I would not put a preamp in this at all. This is a great piece of machinery and it's wonderful. standard jazz bass. Uh, this was about, um, how much I pay for it? $12.39? I think I paid for it. Um, um, pretty much a surprise. I think uh, this year they, they added 100 I think it was 13 But I got a nice deal on this one. Hmm. A deal is a deal. And, um, yeah, um, I, uh, Oh, by the way, I think I said this before, I no longer have the Marcus Miller Bass 5. I got rid of it, and uh, I think I explained why I got rid of it pretty much. Uh, I wasn't getting the sound I wanted to get out of it. Uh, bad me, I should have known, I'm not Marcus. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, that's gone. And I'm um, pretty much replaced with this, I like this. Um, I like this in the 4-string version. Uh, 5 isn't everything. It's uh, useful, but still, there's a lot of tunes that I could uh, really play with this one and have a nice uh, sound too. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe uh, you guys out there, many of you love the uh, American Standard Jazz with the Rosewood neck. Uh, drop me a line. Tell me how you feel about that over the, the Maple neck. 
um, made in America. Lovely piece of metal. This is the Sunburst version, of course. And uh, there's not much more to say about it. Very solid neck. Uh, other than it's uh, classically made. It's just uh, a good piece of uh, machinery. Here's the back. Very nice. This guy. Some string through the string holes there. Or, like I got it, just right through the bridge. Um, there's supposed to be a certain advantage. I don't know what that is when you string uh, through the holes. I don't know what that advantage apparently is. Uh, you know, I don't know everything. Maybe, maybe you guys can tell me uh, what that advantage is when you string through the holes rather than just the bridge. Does that give it a little more sustain, a little more different sound? Um, hit me up and tell me. I, I, you know, it's all about the knowledge. It's all about teaching each other. So I'd like to hear from you on that. You know, and uh, yeah, that's it from the Max Prop Channel. Just wanted to show you my new base. And uh, I've said it before, I don't plan on selling this. <laughs> I said that about the market tonight or whatever. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, um, until the next base, and uh, there'll be a next base coming soon. I got a specter for you to look at. Okay, all right. I don't own it, but you know, get back with you.